I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me Hi guys, welcome back to my car. It's another weekly vlog. Um, only this is only going to be a few days because um, I'm going to finish it on Sunday so that I can get this and the following Sunday's video up before we go away. So I just wanted to show you this amazing little gadget that's just arrived. I ordered it from Amazon yesterday and I've been thinking about buying, well, I've been thinking about buying a drone. I've wanted one forever. And I just think at this point, is, it, is there even any point in buying a drone? Because there's so many um, like regulations and I don't know whether or not you'd even be able to fly it. I'm not great at those kind of things and it's so expensive. And so I was thinking of a couple of different gadgets that do a similar kind of thing. Not really, but kind of give you that smooth um, picture. And a gimbal had been on my radar for a little while and I didn't realise that you could buy handheld gimbals for your phone. So let me just show you. This is like blowing my mind. I've barely had it two minutes. Um, how freaky this is. So imagine the phone would go in there and it looks kind of like wobbly and whatever now and then if you turn it on how weird is that it like and then i can like move it with this it's insane it's like a robot arm it also works as a remote charger so it's got like um, a charging element to it so i'm charging my airpod on it right now which is why it's in the car with me and I'm supposed to be on a pre-holiday diet and I'm very much not, so I'm gonna have a filio fish and some fries while I'm waiting to go and get Milo. That is a loud car. Now interrupt my busy Desperate Housewives watching schedule to try on some of the tart stuff that's arrived. I ordered, um, I didn't tell you about this in a vlog, I can't remember, I know that I tweeted it and talked about it on Facebook. Um, if by the way you haven't joined our Facebook group, I started a chat room in, December because it was supposed to be a vlogmas one and it's been pretty cool I dip in and out of it because for some reason my internet connection particularly doesn't favor Facebook It takes forever to load. So it's probably the social media that I'm least active on um, However, the whole point of it was that people would chat with each other and that seems to be the case. It's really cool So I'll leave a link if I remember below, but anyone can join. I do, you do have to kind of apply But I go on as often as I can to accept people who want to be members anyway um, So I talked about it on those places Tart did some kind of deal where they, I think you got like eight items for 50 something pounds or something crazy. Um, so I've hardly tried anything from Tart. I thought I would give some stuff a go now since it's arrived. And I was gonna do a separate video, but I thought, I don't know if people are interested in that now so much. So I'm just gonna show you it in this vlog. So the first thing that I've got is the Shape Tate, Shape Tate, Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. And the shade that I got is Fair Light Neutral try it with a brush even though i do tend to prefer to apply these things with my hands first to see how it actually is oh and it doesn't have a pump oh 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 but it has this wand oh i know already that everyone's going to be like this is so unhygienic la di da i don't care super super don't care this seems like a lot in other news, I just placed some bets on the royal wedding. Did you even know you could do this? I had no idea. We were just talking, my dad and I, and he was telling me that he bet on um, Prince Harry being clean shaven and wearing a morning suit, which you will already know by this point. I've kind of bet against that. I bet that he was gonna have a beard because he looks weird clean shaven, doesn't he? Although, to be fair, there's not a lot of money to be won in that particular bet anyway. I like this. It's not bad. I mean, it's not, I don't feel like it's going to be fantastic if you've got lots of dry areas, but it's nice. I'm going to try. This didn't come with the set. Where is it? I got the Maracuja, if that's how you pronounce that, creaseless concealer. Oh, there it is. But I really wanted to try the Shape Tape Concealer because that's like the majority of the reason that I wanted to go onto the website in the first place. It wasn't included in the offer. That's how they get you. Uh, but I especially want to try these two things together. So I got this in Fair, which is kind of like a small version, isn't it? I am going to use my fingertips for this one. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to open something that's got a mirror because a mirror in the right direction would be better. I'm facing this direction, which is away from the mirror because the light is better. So my bets that I put on, I bet that he was, I bet a very small amount, that he was um, not clean shaven. So I bet that he, I mean, it's probably going to be like, more trimmed than usual, but I think he's gonna have a beard. 
um, I think that they are going to get higher viewing figures than William and Kate. I'm very interested about this one. I mean, I'm especially interested because I um, could win £60 on this one. Because for some reason, the odds are really good that they're going to be like lower vi viewing figures. I don't get it because I was saying to my dad, maybe people of an older generation won't be as interested because he's going to be the king. Or because he's not going to be the king, rather. Um, and people of my generation are more interested because she's a celebrity. Um, and so in my mind, everyone's watching this one. I didn't watch the William and Kate wedding, but I want to watch this one because I love suits. This is a, a lot. This is quite heavy. This is, I mean, it's not really settling, but it feels heavy. This is um, maybe not the kind of concealer I would wear all the time. This is not my be all and end all review. I'm just testing it out, but mm, I don't know. I, I, it's a lot. You know, like if you really do want that kind of very, very concealed look, I get why it's so popular. Um, so yeah, I bet on that. What else did I bet on? Mm -mm. But the Obamas would be there. And I think I have £20 to me if that one comes in as well. So you already know the answers to these things. Assuming you are even vaguely interested. And tomorrow, I don't even know when the wedding is, but I'm actually going to um, afternoon tea. My friend invited me, um, my friend Kaz. We usually go out for like dinner or whatever once a month. And we haven't done it for ages. In fact, the last time we went out was my birthday in February. So it's been forever. We just haven't been able to get it together, the three of us, to um, go out and do our thing. And so we've had this arranged for ages and ages. And then the other day I saw an advert um that said the other day you know as it gets closer everybody knows when the royal wedding is but when i didn't know when it was i texted him was like that's the royal wedding day do you think it's going to be super busy so hopefully they're doing some kind of royal version of the afternoon tea quite looking forward to that uh, but i'm hoping that the wedding's in the morning so that i can watch it before i go because we're not going to like three something in the afternoon right i'm going to wear what else did i get um Lashes and lips and blush, we'll do that, okay. I'm gonna wear this blush, which to be fair, I think I've had this in the past, I threw it out or I gave it away. I think the reason I threw it out is because with these Amazonian clay blushes, they get dry. They dry out really quickly. And so after a while, you just can't even get any color from them. Oh wow, I think I've put way too much on my brush. Let's see. I used to love these though, because they were really buildable. And for me, who tends to go too heavy, they were perfect. So I'm really quite into a flush cheek at the moment and just mascara. I'm finding it to be um, a little bit more flattering as I get older to do blush rather than a lot of other makeup. The powder I just put on, by the way, is the Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. I am obsessed with this. I've had the Vichy Derma Blend one that I've talked and talked about for ages. My friend Charle gave me that because she said it was too dark for her. It's just called Original Mineral Veil. I think just because she's super, super pale, I think for her it just didn't work, but it's got like a peachy, translucent, to me it wouldn't be too dark for anyone, it's crazy, but she really is that pale. Um, so she gave me that. I've been using that again, because it is a little bit nicer than the Vichy, just a touch. And then the mascara that I've got is the Lights Camera Splashes. I had this, the original Lights Camera Lashes. This is the waterproof one, which is why it's called Splashes. I don't think I was massively impressed but there weren't that many options within the deal. I thought sometimes the waterproof mascara version of things is actually better, so I will give it a go. This is spikier than I remember. That concealer, I don't know. I think overall the coverage of everything is a little bit much for me. Oh, this mascara is really doing very little. It's not really coating much of all. I think this is gonna need like a thousand coats. So I'll come back to you when I've done that. Um, but yeah, the, the foundation does look very natural. It's just heavier than I would usually wear. Probably the kind of thing that I would reach for on a night out or like for an occasion rather than day to day. But I usually wear like the It Cream, It Cream, It Cosmetics CC Cream and um, that La Roche-Posay Unifiant one that I showed you the other day. I love that. I actually have to go very soon because Milo's school is having a little garden party for the royal wedding. How cute is that? He was very excited. Last night he was spending all this time, he was sketching his outfits, which is adorable. What he was gonna wear, he was gonna wear a suit 
Um, and then this morning he just changed his mind. Right at the last minute he wanted to wear something really casual and I think he panicked that he was gonna be like really dressed up and all of his friends were gonna be in shorts and t-shirt. We got there and one of his friends was in a, in a shirt and I could just tell that he was disappointed that he hadn't worn it. He loves to dress up and I wish that he wouldn't be so influenced by other people but I understand, you know, it's the age that he is. I'm really not feeling that mascara at all. This I actually wore the other day in a video because I couldn't find anything and I just pulled this out. It's the Lip Architect in Sweet Pea. Looks like this, it's got two ends. One is a lip liner. I think they're basically the same product. This could be slightly drier. And then the other side is uh, slightly creamier, but not so creamy that it doesn't last. Lipstick, which is still pretty small, but matches perfectly. This is amazing. Very few products that are supposed to be kind of a lip liner and lipstick in one I've actually enjoyed using in the past, and this is really, really nice. Um, and I really like that colour. It's very much me right now. So last night, I put on, when my hair was damp, because I realised that I'd forgotten to um, put on a... Con uh, not concealer, a conditioner. I put in this oil in my hair and it's kind of gone that too much oil in your hair situation. So it looks greasy, but it's just greasy down here and not at the roots. So I have no idea what to do with it. It would definitely look better if it was down, but if it was not so oily. I'll tell you what I put in my hair. Boob shot. This. This is the Body Shop Coconut Oil. Um, and it's a pre-shampoo hair oil, but it does say in the in the um, information below, in the description, directions. Um, where does it say, where does it say? Apply on cleansed hair to condition dry ends as a leave-in treatment. But now I'm thinking my hair is not as dry as it needs to be to do that. Um, I would love to wear it down, but I really can't. So I'm going to have to do something with it. But um, I can't have it how it was because it was all all frizzed and anyone that's been following me for a while will know Milo really does have opinions about how I wear my hair so he's not going to be cool if I turn up to his garden party with fluffy hair. This isn't really working is it? I'll, I'll find a way, I'll find a way. Right I'm off now. Um, so let me know, did you put any bets on? You know those of you that are of age, did you put any bets on the royal wedding? Did you win? Did I win? Who knows? We're in Meadow Wall, what a surprise. Um, and I've just done like a lap of the Food hall is the word I'm looking for. Um, and so there's some new stuff and I was like, I'll try something new. No, had to be a burrito, but I got double meat today. Got the chicken chorizo and steak. Just to make things a little bit more different. A little bit more, a little bit different. Milo, did you enjoy your school thing? Milo, are you listening to me? Yeah. <laughs> did you enjoy your garden party? Yeah. Did you have a little sleep in the car? Just a little one. I don't know if it was actually that he was tired or that I was singing along to my mirror that put him to sleep. But it's the first time he slept in the car in a long time, so he must be tired. Guys, we've got a new Wilco's. This is very exciting. I wonder if they've got makeup. They do! Is it just that they don't do it here? Or have they stopped making those twist up lip liners? Have they been replaced by these? Because I can't find. The regular ones. I used to love plum cake, it was my absolute favourite and I can't find it. We just need a moment about this Tarte Shape Tape because that applied so much more nicely with a beauty blender. I used the whole foundation and the concealer. Concealer is still, I think it's going to be a little bit too heavy for me. The foundation was beautiful with a beauty blender, so enjoying it. Um, I wore it all day yesterday, it was nice. I'm going to wear it all day today and I'm actually going to go out, so I'll let you know probably by the end of this vlog whether or not I think it's something that I would buy again. So we've watched all of the Royal Wedding today, way more of it than we anticipated. Watched it from nine o'clock till one o'clock. Did you enjoy it, Lee? Miles, what did you think of the Royal Wedding? It was very long. And is there the, the Did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it at the first part. At the beginning. Like at the beginning. Okay. And did you like what they were wearing? He's talking about the preacher who was talking, Milo said at one point, why is he talking about fire? This was really good and now it's really boring. He didn't enjoy the preacher. It went on too long for Milo's liking. Um, but overall, I can't believe how much of it we watched. I intended to watch like the ceremony, if that. I just kind of wanted to watch her go in. 
but the coverage it was kind of like watching the red carpet um the coverage before the wedding and then the parts of the ceremony were really really good uh, now the boys are on their way to see Avengers because Milo didn't see Avengers with us last time He wasn't interested and Lee wants to see it again and he's convinced him to go And I'm going into town to meet Kaz and we're going for a royal afternoon tea So I've put on some lipstick since you last saw me This is the Bobbi Brown, I think it's Bobbi Brown Colour Crush lipstick in Regal Because I thought it was royal wedding appropriate so we went for our um, afternoon tea which was nice we've been to various places since we are now in a Weatherspoons and um, a very nice older gentleman in theory has given us half a bottle of Moe and given that if you watched last week's vlog I've been very vocal in the past week about not accepting drinks from strangers I feel strongly that I'm being tested right we had some of the champagne just a little bit just a little bit um and then we passed on a half bottle of prosecco to some girls Pass that on were the, um, we paid the it forward nice we paid it forward but also we now wonder whether or not they're going to be racked with anxiety as to whether or not they should take it from strangers but the funny thing was just as we were leaving we saw the guy that gave us the champagne and he said that he he said it ages ago that he was leaving he said he was leaving I think it was well timed so that we I'm left scared. the bar. Um, I've got an energy drink because needs must. Uh, gonna go and get a pizza and go home, although it feels very lively around here. It feels it's very dancey, doesn't it? I've left cars. We kind of live close to each other, so we kind of split the difference and walked the rest of the way in the taxi. It's really cold right now. I was like, I'm wearing no trousers, guys. I'm wearing bare legs. It was so cold, or so warm, sorry, earlier on. I was struggling to find something to wear. I was really frustrated. I had that kind of um, meltdown in my closet situation where it's like, ah, I hate everything. I feel too warm to go out. And now it's freezing. I really want to get some proper pajamas on and some slippers and get under a blanket. I'm really quite cold. Um, and these pizzas are keeping me nice and warm. So I'm nearly home. I've got to buy one, get one free from Pepper John's. Need a huge glass of water because I've got the biggest headache. I realized when I got there, that I've hardly, I don't even think I'd had another drink before we got there. And then I've had a lot of Prosecco, so I feel rubbish now. I need much water because I'm super dehydrated. But thankfully it's only nine o'clock, so plenty of time to try and remedy that so I don't have a hangover in the morning. <clears throat> Good morning. Super tired this morning. So happy that we got a, no a normal early night's sleep. I say early, we've probably been in bed for like 11. And then I got up about nine, so I feel fine. I feel just tired. Um, I shouldn't because we had a lot. <laughs> we had a lot of Prosecco yesterday. More than I should have had. Um, and the pizza that I got home, brought home, I had about one slice of it and then fell asleep. I was so tired. Uh, I had to go through Milo telling me everything he'd done in the few hours that I'd been gone and saying how he'd missed me because he hadn't seen me all day. I didn't leave the house until three. Um, so he's filling me in and everything. They, they went to see Infinity Wars, so he's telling me all about that. Um, he read me a few books and I managed to get one slice of pizza and then fell asleep. So I'm reheating it for breakfast because that is what I do. And also I ordered a can of Monster when we were in Weatherspoons and um, I didn't drink it. They didn't even open it. So I got that this morning. Did I tell you yesterday about the weird app that you can get from Weatherspoons? You can order everything from your table. One can of Monster I ordered on an app from my table that was delivered on a tray. This is mind blowing. This is, you see, this is the great thing about technology. Technology is not ruining our lives when you can order things on an app from your table at Weatherspoons and have it table delivered. We are going to the car boot. Milo, are you excited? Yeah. Woohoo! I would um, you not think I was excited. I know, Milo's so excited about the car boot. We're trying out the new um, gimbal that I bought. And this, I need to see if I can tilt this down slightly. There we go. Woo! Uh, just to get a little bit of practice with it before holiday and to see how it works and how it looks in editing and stuff. So we're sitting in the car right now. <laughs> Um, you might wonder, why am I sitting in the back of the car? I'll show you why I'm sitting in the back because of the car. Because Manny is in the front because we're going for a walk and he's, and Daddy's put a towel there in case she pees or poops. That is absolutely true. But I don't know how to twist this around. I feel like it should. I need some practice with this thing. Mummy's going to be Ella today and Manny's going to be Mummy today and Daddy's going to be Daddy today right. and I'm going to be Milo today. Because I am Milo. And Daddy is Daddy. Milo. Because okay. you are Milo. Yep. And I am Milo today. <laughs> I could be 
Um, I've spent most of my day cleaning Ella's bedroom, teenagers, uh, and packing our cases and I completely forgot that I said that I was going to show you a little bit of what I've packed. To be honest I haven't packed very much and so I'll probably show you bits of what I've taken with me during the trip um, which will be probably the next vlog that you see next week because uh, we're only there for like five days. So I've taken um, the very very bare essentials kind of makeup wise. I've really it, I've pared it down a lot and um, I'm taking mostly swimwear and some shorts and I think like one dress um, but really hardly anything not worth a video I am going to be filming a packing video for a trip I'm taking next month if I take the trip we'll see um, but fingers crossed I'm going to do some proper packing content for you then and yeah that's been my day I'm going to pop in the tub now and wash off all of this uh, and just the grossness it's so hot it's it's one thing for it to be hot like this on holiday and everybody else always says this but you can't live a life in this heat um, when you're used to so much like snow like we've had this year um, so I'm gonna have a beer get in the tub and refresh a little bit better already and from one mask to another I'm gonna try this Primark skin shot energizing sheet mask that I bought a couple of weeks ago it's the recharge one um, so in theory brightening I don't know uh, but the one that I just used was kind of brightening I thought I'd kind of scrub and exfoliate away in preparation for holiday. Attractive. I've just been editing the vlog and I realised I never actually told you what I thought of the Shape Tape foundation. I definitely think that you can wear it less or more depending on how how much coverage you want. Like I wore it yesterday um, a little bit less than I did the other day in, you know, when I said I was going to go to the like school thing. Um, and I wore it with the Beauty Blender, which was so much more natural, so much nicer, and it lasts really well. That I will definitely wear again. The Shape Tape Concealer, I'm going to have to let you know, because although I wore that yesterday, I just, I think it's too heavy for me. I'm going to try the Maracuja Creaseless one, because uh, I think that might be more up my street. But um, yeah, the Shape Tape Foundation is the thing that I um, was kind of on the fence about. I thought I was going to love concealer, because everybody does. The foundation was the thing I really liked so that is it for this weekly vlog thanks for watching I'll be back on Sunday with a haul massive absolutely huge summer holy hol summer holiday haul um, I actually asked on Twitter whether or not you guys wanted it to be shortened because it's 20 plus minutes long um, and everyone voted for it to be long so apologies for those of you that wanted it to be short um, but that's what's coming up on Sunday and then next Wednesday it will be the holiday haul or the holiday vlog um, so yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time.